everybody. Welcome to the group's content video. So excited to be joining you in your home or wherever I'm joining you in today. Um, hey, so the first one is, the first thing we're going to talk about is the icebreaker. And I think these are always so fun thinking about some random stuff that um, sometimes applies to what we have talking about. So this one talks about the least favorite chore. And I want to tell you mine. Um, I had a garden back when I was younger um, and we did veggies and all that type of stuff. And it seemed when I was young that it was about a mile away from the house. And my parents won't let me put like 18 hoses together to get water run all the way out there. So I'd have to fill five gallon buckets. And this was me super tiny and skinny and I'd have to carry buckets. By the time I'd get there, I had probably spilled so much water that um, I had about half of the water left in the bucket. So that that is my least favorite chore. Um, you should talk about it with your group what your guys' least favorite chore is as well before we dive into questions today. All right, question number one for the discussion. Um, when you hear the word righteous, what does that word mean to you? Sometimes it's kind of hard to put the word righteous into a few different words describing it. So I actually even looked it up on the dictionary. The dictionary defines righteousness as the quality of being morally right or justifiable. Uh, talk about how close were your definitions to the words from the dictionary? What did that look like? Question number three, and I want you to think back to the time when you were early or young in the faith. Um, what things did you start doing that were different from your old life? Question number four, what things do you do to prove to yourself or others around you that you are a Christian? And number five, uh, doing good things are good. Those are not bad by doing good things, but sometimes we tie our good behaviors, the good things that we do, to righteousness. That if we do good things, we are righteous. And that is what got the Galatians in trouble. That's why Paul was writing to a lot of these Galatians. Um, here's the question. What makes you righteous? And here's the last question, and I want you to wrestle with this um, together as a group. In the bumper video, um, at the beginning of the message, that first little clip, the woman was plagued with people knowing who she was and who she used to be. What should you do when you fear that others are defining you by your past? What, what do you do in those situations? All right, everybody, that is it for our normal discussion questions. I hope you were able to engage in a fun way with each other and hopefully learn a little bit more about each other and be able to take that next step in holding each other accountable to knowing what it means to make, really be righteous and know that that righteousness is there for us regardless of our behaviors. Um, if you have some extra time, I would strongly encourage the Digging Deeper section. In the message, uh, Eric spoke on Abram and circumcision. And if you look into some of those things, it appears as though sometimes the Old Testament contradicts what's in the New Testament. Like Paul is saying that those old laws don't matter anymore. What, why is that? We go into some of those questions into the Digging Deeper sections, and I'd love it if you um, had the time to go through some of those and wanted to wrestle through that as a group. So those are there if you have time and want to dig deeper. If not, um, we are looking forward to seeing you guys again next week. Have a great week.